The pandemic has left many young adults like myself in a financial rut, causing us to rely on our parents for financial help. According to a report by Savings.com, half of parents with a child above the age of 18 provide financial support. College kids are at the top of that list. Without your mom's support, what are some of the things that you probably wouldn't be able to have? Uh, I would definitely not have a place to live. I would not have gas for my car to get here. I would not have food in my mouth. None of it would be possible without her. Uh, they pay for my travel expenses, gas, insurance, uh, truck uh, payment, all those type of things. That financial support means dishing out at least $1,000 a month. Now that money is going to a variety of things like helping you with your cell phone, afford food, and money for a variety of insurance policies. In addition to costly student loan bills, hurdles include an uneven job market and soaring housing prices have not helped either. In 2020, the share of those living with their parents temporarily spiked to a historic high. Yet, 62% of adult children living at home don't contribute to a household's expenses at all, simply because they can't afford to. After quitting her full-time job to focus on school, Jade Mitchell lost her health insurance. So for about six months, I didn't have health insurance. So that was also um, a financial strain. So with like prescriptions and like going to the doctor, those things were more expensive. And without their help, I would not be able to afford either of those things. A spokesperson for insurance company TIAA says this is a hard time for young people, but it's even harder for the parents, saying, quote, when you spend money supporting your adult children, that drains the funds you could have put towards other financial goals, such as paying off debt, saving for long-term health care costs, and retirement planning. And a tip out there for parents from TIAA that are watching, always set aside money for your retirement and emergency funds first. In Lafayette, I'm Princess Jeanne Steverson-Lowry, News 15.